Today on the channel, Legend Series 9, Mattel Elite, Target exclusive, Tatanka! Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we continue our WWE Mattel Elite Legend Series 9 Target Exclusive Unboxings with Tatanka. Tatanka, no stranger to the Elite Series, he was way back in the day in the Elite Series, kind of the middle. If you know 85 where we're about right now, he was somewhere in the middle. Uh, maybe the 40s, early 50s. I can't remember off the top of my head. There's been so many sets. But I do remember that previous Tatanka being quite the peg warmer back in the day. Hopefully that doesn't, the same fate doesn't become this uh, Tatanka. Hopefully he's not the peg warmer. But as we see at these legends at Target, there's always one or two that are somewhat peg warmers. Uh, and Nikolai Volkov is maybe my guess for this set. Tatanka would be uh, part two, A and B. I think those two will be the easiest to find. Uh, but we'll see. Time will tell. Maybe there's a resurgence of Tatanka fandom out there. He was just on Raw a couple, I don't know, a month, two months ago, whatever it was at this point. Uh, so maybe there's still some fans that want Tatanka. But I know the average fan out there uh, and the hardcore fans, when they think Tatanka, they don't quite think this outfit, uh, his debut attire. He did wear tights back then before he went to the trunks. Uh, very few appearances, maybe one, two, three, something like that appearances, maybe a couple of TV appearances, but that's it. Then he went to the more familiar modern day uh, tights that we've seen him in the rest of his career. So we'll unbox this like we do. We'll look at the packaging. We'll unbox it. We'll talk about it. We'll look at it, but we'll also compare it to that old elite Tatanka and see which ones we like better. Uh, I have my uh, prejudices already. I think I know which one I like better, but once we get this open, I will know for sure. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging first. There it is, the old Tataka. We're used to this packaging now. We've had it for a couple of series. It's a good take on the classic Legends line from Mattel that launched way back when Mattel got the lineup about 11 years back. Uh, it's a cool modern day take. So you got the WWE Legends logo down here, Tatanka's name. You got Tatanka, the nice big window clear box. He's got his axe in there in case he needs to do some axe throwing. You know, I hear axe throwing is all the rage these days. People get a couple of drinks, they throw axes, have a good time, they be merry. I think Tatanka was actually a trendsetter of that, if I remember right, that he was a uh, axe throwing champion uh, back in the day. Somebody can correct me. I think I'm right, but I might be wrong. Somebody correct me on that one. But that's Tatanka in there. We all know it's Tatanka. You got the uh, True Effects logo up top instead of on the window like the traditional Elites. You got the Elite logo up there. You got Series 9, and that's the front. You got old Tatanka looking all glamorous. Look a little angry over there. It's all right. It'll be okay, Tatanka. Chill out. Got Elite logo down below. Same thing on the other side without the Elite logo. Warnings on the bottom. Not going to show you because we don't really care. And then there's the back. You got Tatanka. The guy's nice glamour shot. You got a little blurb. We'll read that. Legends logo, Elite up top. And then you got the whole heavy hitter lineup below with Taker, Million Dollar Man, Tatanka, and Nikolai Volkov. Let's see what it says about our old pal Tatanka. All right, Tatanka. Memorable moment. A native of the Lumbee tribe, the proud Native American superstar Tatanka made an immediate impact from the moment he stepped in a WWE ring. An energetic powerhouse, he quickly became a fan favorite of the WWE Universe. Starting in 1991, Tatanka began an undefeated streak that lasted nearly two years. Like a young Goldberg, Tatanka was. Um, I don't know why that's the memorable moment. I think they should have started that blurb with the memorable moment was his undefeated streak, then put that kind of stuff, because it reads kind of like, his memorable moment was he was a native of the Lumbee tribe. So that's his uh, memorable moment. And I don't know if anybody knew he was a member of the Lumbee tribe. Uh, not the most famous of tribes out there, I don't believe. But I'm no tribe expert. Um, so there you go. But yeah, let's open up Tatanka. Let's see what all the fuss is about, as some would say. Pull him out of the old plastic prison. There's the old Legends logo. Nice background. I can see people saving this. We talk about it all the time. You could probably re repurpose that. See you later. Save it for something. Do something with it. I don't know. Got those ricochet hands. We like to call them those big, long finger hands. So he's got an extra set of hands if you need them. Plastic prison for old Tatanka. Hands, hatchet, and figure. That's all you get. That's all you need. That's all you want. So there it is. Let's pop him out. Let's get those hands out first. 
I don't foresee me using those hands, but you never know. He is not. No buckled in, no straps, no nothing to cut. See you later. He's just hanging out in there. Uh, so far, joints are good. I don't feel any looseness, any loose joints. Got one little black mark on his back. At least it's on the back. Not terrible. White tights are clean. Every once in a while, you get scuffed white tights, white boots. Obviously, white is tough to keep clean. Uh, so it's always a dangerous attire choice. Comes with that hatchet. I believe it's the same hatchet we got previously. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't even know if this is much up, very much updated. This doesn't seem, the face doesn't seem updated. We'll see. We'll compare it against the other one here in a second. But let's take a look. There's Tatanka. You know, the white and the red on the tights really uh, pops. I don't know what these symbols mean, if there's meaning behind them, or if they're just random. Symbols down there on the boots. You got the hatchet, which I guess is cool. I mean, I knew he had it, but I don't think he carried it around all the time. Maybe in the, definitely in this gear, he probably did have that hatchet. There you go. He's got little armbands. Let's see. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? I say it all the time. Ringside collectible stands, the best stands in the game. So universal and cheap compared to other stands. Uh, spend your money on your uh, figures, not your stands. That's what I always say. Ringside collectible stands. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. There you go. Fits on there. We knew he would. So there's Tatanka. I don't know. Got that red stripe in the hair. I always thought that was pretty cool. A little bit... Uh, probably past its time. I don't think we'd see a uh, Native American rustler in this day and age with the red stripe in their hair. I just don't see that. It's kind of a dated gimmick. It's more of an old time gimmick. I think Tatanka was the last one to bring a Native American gimmick to the forefront of popularity. I just don't see that happening again. Um, but let's look at the other Tatanka. When I look at this one, I think it really truly is no contest that the older Tatanka is much better. Uh, it's cool to get him in his debut gear in the tights, something different to get another Tatanka figure out there. But if you're only buying one Tatanka, this is the Tatanka you're getting. This just screams Tatanka. The brown, the blue, the red, that's Tatanka. This doesn't hold a candle to this one. Uh, when people think Tatanka, they don't think this one. That's just the way it is. It looks like the exact same hatchet. Let me see what is really different here, if there's anything different. They both got the same necklace thing going on. Just a little bit different shades of blue. A darker blue on the old one, which I actually prefer the darker blue to the lighter blue on this one. Uh, the hatchets are pretty much the same. Uh, more of a wood grain on the old one and more of just a straight plastic on this one. So I do prefer the hatchet on this one as well. Uh, the face and head look identical. I mean, even the old one looks a little bit better. I don't know how that is. Uh, you guys tell me, but it's so close. But the head scheme of this old one just has a little bit. Maybe it's just something with the paint. Um, so they didn't use the updated head scan. It's just a direct head scan swap. Maybe a little bit different paint. Not really that much different. Uh, he's got the same same logos on his wrist uh, wrist forearm gauntlets. Just different colored, uh, you know, knee pads. Different colored. He's got the tassels, Ultimate Warrior style on his feet here. He does not have that here. Um, he's got the arm tassels just once again painted a different color. These are just plain colored, almost skin tone colored. These got a little character to them with some blue and some red. I think we've deeped into it enough. If you can only buy one Tatanka, this is the Tatanka to get. I can see a lot of collectors out there. I know most of you guys are not completists out there. You already probably have this Tatanka in your collection. This one will probably sit on the shelf and you'll probably pass on this one. Uh, that's why I do wonder if this one may end up being a peg warmer. I figure it'll be him or Nikolai. Nikolai a lot of times passed from that Toys R Us exclusive. I think a lot of people don't have that. I would say more people have this Tatanka than have that two-pack Nikolai as far as collectors go. So truly, I do think maybe Tatanka could, by a process of elimination, by collector's math, could be the peg warmer in Legend Series 9. We'll see. But if I had to choose between the two, this is the Tatanka I'm picking up. You guys can tell me if you think differently, if you're picking this one up anyways. But if you can only choose one, I got to go with the old school Tatanka. Better paint, more color, more... Uh, this is what we know Tatanka for in the wrestling ring. We don't really know this one. It's not as fond memories and so forth. But you guys can tell me in the comments if you think differently. Um, but yeah, you know me, I've said it. This is the Tatanka to get. It's an okay one. Definitely probably going to be my least favorite in the Legend Series 9 lineup, uh, the way things are shaking out. But we'll see uh, when it's all said and done. So there you have it. Legend Series 9, Mattel Elite, Target exclusive, Tatanka. 
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this Legends Series 9 Target exclusive unboxing. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Don't forget to like the page. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for all Legends Series 9, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.